This is Judah chosen to rule by the Honorable Yudhe Wave, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wave, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Where the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth is coming. The truth which will set you free. The truth which will raise you high above all people that are on the face of the earth. Deuteronomy 1, Deuteronomy 7, 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy God. The Lord Yahweh thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now the trick is to discover who this is talking to. If you are deceived into thinking that this scripture is to somebody other than you, then it has no value whatsoever to you. The reason Yahweh raised me up was to bring to you your lost history, culture, language, name, land, and place, and destiny, past, present, and future in the civilized world. And I'm here to testify to you, and it's your duty to study and find out if I'm right or not. That this scripture is talking to the so called black men of America. Now, try and experiment and consider if it is talking to you. Just, just, if you don't believe it, pretend for a minute. Say, what if this is talking to me? You've already experimented with it not pertaining to you because you didn't know it did. <laughs> yes. How many of us were taught that the chosen people were the Jews? All right, well, let's go to Revelation 3 9 and check that out, and then we'll come back so we can get that straight. It's nothing like letting this book talk to you. <laughs> It's not a, a real matter of my interpretation for you to understand it. It's a matter of what it says. <laughs> and after you can come to know that I can show you what it says, and I know where it says what it says, then I can interpret it. Because I'll have your attention. Hallelujah, man. But first of all, just let your fingers do the walking through the Bible pages and let the book do the talking. Now let's read Revelation 3, 9. Read. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Now, this, this doesn't require interpretation. I'm just going to call your attention to a few matters right here. Now, here's somebody that is of the synagogue of Satan that you didn't know. Well, and here are some people who say they are Jews that are not Jews. So if the people who say they are Jews are lying, then since the Jews have taken Israel since 1948, it means it has been taken on what? A lie. Well, if liars have taken and set up a state called Israel. If they lie and not the ones, then 
who does that land belong to? For real. See, it belongs to somebody. But the Jews decided to lie. And with the help of every white country on earth, went and took it. And then came in a fighting war over there, right now. Trying to hold on to something that they lied to get. While it belongs to somebody who must not know it's that. But further in it, it says that the Jews are going to have to come and worship at somebody's feet. What? Is your Bible reading like mine? It, it, your Bible says this? That the Jews are going to have to come and worship at somebody's feet. And these people who the Jews are going to have to come and get down at their feet and worship is loved by God. I know I'm making plenty of sense. Now that you understand that what you have been taught is wrong, you've been taught lies. You thought Jews were the chosen people. Now I can ask you a question. Are the Jews the chosen people? No. What are the Jews going to have to do in regard to somebody's feet? <laughs> have to worship at their feet. The people that own these feet are the chosen ones. And I'm here to declare the so-called black men of America are the chosen people of the creating God. Chosen to do what? Where we find it. Turn to First Chronicles 24 and let's see what are you chosen to do? First Chronicles chapter 28 verse 4. Read. How be it the Lord Yahweh, God of Israel, chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he hath chosen Judah to be the ruler, and of the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he liked me to make me king over all Israel. Now who's talking? Yahweh. Yahweh. The God of Israel. And when he sets his eye on you and chooses you, who are you to reject his sons? And you have a nerve to reject Yahweh's sons. Now you learn something else in this scripture. You didn't know you were the chosen and you thought the Jews were. And you know that all people come from somewhere and you didn't know where you come from. Why don't you know where you come from? Because your slave masters took that knowledge from you, took it out of all books, and hid it. It's left in the Bible, but they hid they took the light of the Bible away. They took the understanding of the Bible away. And they killed you spiritually and mentally. So when you go to school, you learn about all people but yourself. And you can make an A in everybody's history but yourself. You probably did. Some of you are so smart, you're so beautiful. I love you too, but you made an A in everything but you. And if you saw anything about your people, it was picking cotton. Hmm? 
say something to make you feel bad. Make you ashamed. Why? Because we have never been taught who we are. Now here it says, here's somebody chosen to be ruler forever, to be king forever, forever. By the creator of the sun, moon, and stars, God, Yahweh himself, chose somebody here to be ruler. But here, Judah is not ruling, Jews are. say you are Judah. Because my father Yahweh sent me to tell you who you are. You're the child of Judah, the nation of Israel, chosen to be the ruler forever. Well, Yahweh and Yahweh, well, what happened to us? Well, let's go to uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Because I want to get your color down first. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. What I'm explaining now is Deuteronomy 7, 6. This is what I'm explaining. But I'm letting the Bible, your fingers are doing the walking, but see, the Bible is doing the talking. So when we finish, you'll have to say, I know it is true because I saw it in the Bible with my own two eyes. And nobody can take it from me now. I saw Read. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground, and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. Now, Judah is black. The people that's chosen to be the ruler, chosen by God to be the ruler, are black. The Jews are not black. And they're ruling. So they're lying. They 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 they're in the wrong place. They, and the people that's black, that's supposed to be ruling, something must be wrong with them to be letting Jews Jew rule when they should be the ruler. It must be something wrong with these black folk minds called Jews. Black Judah must be in trouble. So let's go to Jeremiah 13, 19 and see what happened to them. Read. The cities of the south shall be shut up, and none shall open them. Judah shall be carried away captive. All of it, it shall be wholly carried away captive. Now look what happened to Judah. Judah is black. The chosen people by God. Is supposed to rule forever. And the channel can't. How many of us know, at least through history and study, that we've been brought to this country as slaves? Captive. Uh, so now we fit this Bible description here 100%. We've been brought in captivity, so we must be children. The chosen people who don't know that, who have not been taught that, so then you don't tell the Jews, sit down. I'm fixing to take my place. You can't take your place to rule when you don't know it. So when you go to school, they don't let, they don't show it to you. They keep it hidden from you. So when you don't know you've chosen to be the ruler, then you think everything about the people ruling is pretty. I don't mean to meddle nobody, but when you go to the ugly shop, I mean the beauty parlor, you don't go to try to look like yourself because you woke up looking like yourself. You go to the parlor to change what God gave you. Something happened to Judah's mind. Now 
Well, let's go to Isaiah 9 and 2 and see where he's sitting. See, his mind is sitting somewhere. <laughs> Judah's mind is sitting somewhere. See, I prove my case. I say, follow me and I'll make you rich. <laughs> Have I kept my word? <laughs> Have I kept my word? <laughs> Am I keeping my word? 